The teacher should make use of every opportunity to enhance the lesson with visual illustrations. Therefore, whenever a diagram, table, graph, chart would assist the student in their learning, the teacher should prepare visual aids and integrate them into the lesson. This comes in the category of visual aids and these give a visual representation and summary of factual information. Diagram visually illustrates a fact, concept or generalization. Graph illustrates the statistical information in a single way. Table provides a large amount of information in a condensed form. Chart visually illustrates large or small amount of information. A chart is a combination of pictorial, graphic, numerical or vertical material which presents a clear visual summary. There are various types of charts and diagrams such as line diagram, area diagram, comparison chart, stacked bar chart, Pi diagram, bar diagram, column diagram, bubble chart, spider and radar, scatter diagram, etc. The main purposes of using chart or diagram in the classroom are showing relationship by means of facts, figures and statistics, summarizing information, showing continuity in process, presenting abstract ideas in a visual form, showing development of structure, creating problems and stimulating thinking, motivating the students, encouraging utilization of other media of communication. We can use charts, diagrams, graphs, table in the classroom in an effective way if we follow some important rules. Teacher made chart, diagram, table, graph should be prepared before the beginning of the lesson. Students should be involved in the preparation of the charts. The teacher should sketch out any visual aids prior to the lesson if he or she is going to draw the diagram or chart during the lesson. The teacher should have clear objectives for using these aids. The teacher should give students adequate time to study and interpret any visual information before it is summarized by the teacher. The teacher should link together the textual and visual information into a unified whole. The teacher must use pointer to point out specific facts in the charts, diagrams, tables or graphs. Everything needed for chart, diagram or graphs preparation should be got together. Such elements are straight pins, staples, clips, gummed hanger, paper clips, tapes, etc. Charts, diagrams should be so large that every details depicted should be visible to every pupil in the class wherever he is sitting. Charts or diagrams should give a neat appearance and display information only about one specific area in a subject. A chart or diagram should not contain too much written materials or too many details. When a chart or diagram is to be used in the classroom, the teacher should make sure that there is a provision for hanging the chart at a vantage point. Diagram should be carefully stored and preserved for use in future. The teacher may have to prepare lesson or assignment so that student can practice and perfect these skills. The teacher should include examination questions on any relevant diagram, tables, graphs and charts if an exam is given. Such information is otherwise often overlooked during independent study. Now try this.